Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we move over to present-day Chattanooga, Tennessee, for it was the Second Battle of Chattanooga on August 21st, 1863. Union attackers were led by Colonel John T. Wilder, a returning character who had left his hometown of the Catskills at the age of 19 and moved to Columbus, Ohio, where he became a drafter, an apprentice millwright, and worked at the local foundry. By 1857, he had moved to Greensburg, Indiana, married Martha Jane Stewart, and started his own foundry, becoming successful by inventing and patenting many hydraulic inventions used even today. Following him was his own unit, the Wilder's Lightning Brigade, and the 18th Indiana Light Artillery. Opposing his attack were forces under the command of General Daniel Harvey Hill, known mostly to this channel as D.H. Hill, who was both a soldier and wrote and taught college mathematics and wrote textbooks. He was followed by his own troops, known as Hill Corps. Today's victory went to the Union. In late August, Union Major General William S. Rosencrantz launched a campaign against Chattanooga which required his army to divide into three forces to travel through the mountain gaps. On August 21st, Union Colonel Wilder's brigade arrived at Chattanooga and began shelling the city from their position on Stringer's Ridge, a position that was directly across the river and visible by the overall Confederate commander, General Braxton Bragg. Wilder kept up the artillery barrage, not approaching the city. Not long after this was occurring, Braxton Bragg received reports of two more Union armies that were approaching from different directions. Not wanting to be encircled, he withdrew his forces from Chattanooga without fully engaging Wilder's men. There was no losses to Wilder's men, and it is unknown if their artillery attack had any impact or loss of life on the Confederates. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.